Hi. So I've just got in, well, I got it recently of Zoom G5N, physical machine in the post. And uh, I, I kind of want this because I think it's a really nice machine and we can do a lot of stuff with it now, thanks to Mundual and some stuff I've done. And I've got the GCE3, as you've seen on my channel. So the idea is that, well, maybe it might even help me get some secrets there. But I also have the G3N. I'll be, I'll be selling some of these pedals at one point, but I think I'll keep the G5N. So on the other videos, so it's very similar to the G3M, but it's got an extra display on the front and it's got a lovely little display at the top for showing your patch at one glance, which as I get older is really helpful, yeah. So let's have a look at slash dev slash MIDI. Is there anything there? There's a MIDI free, cool. So we're in the zoom pedal fun. I'm gonna find out with you, does my stuff just work? Yes, yeah, so we're going to the Python. I haven't modified it, but I think it should be able to understand it's a G5N and take the right um, course of action. So let's find out. Python, Python 3, uh, B1, I'm going to change the name of this, B1X4, whatever. So now it should talk, it's gone into PC mode. Hello. So this happens occasionally, I'm going to fix the software. It goes into PC mode, it doesn't always work. Sometimes I have to do it about three times. There. So now you see it's found it's a G5N, um, it's got 200 patches, a bank size of 4, a patch size of 736, a version 3, that's exactly right. It isn't a GCE version, it's got 9FX because that's what I said it had. So now what it's doing, it's, I'll, I'll start another window and you can hopefully see, it's interrogating the pedal um, and it's building up a, just wasting some time whilst it's doing that, uh, software zoom pedal fun python there we are cd my pedal and what we should see is that it's just today this day is 26 it's just building the bmps and the json so it's basically interrogating what's on the pedal and if you use any of the techniques mundrel's technique to inject a new effect onto there then we'll know what it is. The only thing I haven't been easily able to find right now is the stomp effect, the 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 um, looper and the rhythm. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. It, it it is somehow mentioned in the firmware, but I just don't get it. A minute when I try and interrogate the effect, it doesn't show up in the in the catalog. But so these are the the effects it's found to date. So it's going to be finding more as we go on. Uh, what we can do is ls minus one uh, star dot z d two pipes into word count minus line, and this will tell us the number we got. It's 109, 100. So it's going up gradually. Yeah, um, I'll have to check if I'm doing this the most efficient way. I think I am. I'm using Mundrill stuff, which is pretty cool as a basis. So let's just let it continue on. And by the time it's finished, it should have some idea of what's on the machine and the patches, yeah? Um, and then I'll start looking, I'll start using some of the SysX decoding to see if there's any extra buttons. So there's a few more knobs on this, like a master level, but I think that's very similar to the level. There's an output booster and a tone, which is really nice. I, I don't, I, <laughs> Be really good if you could comment on the videos as to why you watch the crap up there. I'm pressing the patches now. Like, what are you interested in? Because I've got quite a few interests and I don't expose them all. But at the moment, it's mainly reverse engineering these zooms and playing bass. Yeah. Um, but of course, I like my World War Two concrete as well. Anyway, there we go. It's done it. Right. So now it's loaded up and said hello. We got the G5N. So I can see on my left. I, I, as I look at the physical screen, I can see my patch XX phased ufo and dream world is selected now what i see in the top window is comp so maybe i'll take a picture now and i'll edit it into the video let me take a picture now and then i'll edit it into the video because it'll make sense then so i see that uh, i see that dream world is selected and i see this in the display so i'll try and remember that to edit that in i'll take one more picture in case it didn't work it's a bit bright in here so, what I predict is when I click on Dream World number three, which I guess I need to say is number four, so I'll add one to those. What I predict I'll see is Comp, Sweet Drive, ZNR, 
the Brato Tape Echo Hall pedal volume. So let's do it. There we are. Comp. And now I've just redrawn it. Comp Suite ZNR Vibrato Tape Echo Hall. So this thing here is draw, and you see it says these are not on. And oh, Comp isn't on apparently. Uh, yeah, this is the thing I find with these displays. It's quite hard to actually see. Oh, I suppose what I do is I go into stomp mode, don't I? Switch to stomp mode. Oh, there we are. Um, and now when I scroll left, it looks to me that they are on, but there's no... Ah, wait a minute. So comp must be off, sweet drive is on, dynamics is off, vibrato is off. Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. So let me take a picture of that, and I'll try and remember that it is in to show you what the, the software is doing, because what what I see on this picture, it's a bit dark, let's get a picture, there we go, is that there's a red light on the FS2, so which is a which is below Sweet Drive. So now what I'll do, um, I'll turn this first comp on, yeah? So when I do that, now I've got a light on the bottom left, okay? So that's cool, that's working. So actually my software is drawing the things correctly, it's drawing the comp is now on, sweet drive is on, FX3 is off, that's true. You you can't easily tell that from the display at the top, but you can tell it from the foot switch. So actually, in some respects, colorblind as I am, this is probably slightly easier to understand than the current software. Yeah. Let's just choose a different one and see if anything changes. Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, look, we got a, a stack trace going there. Look, trace back index out of range. Okay. I'll have to work on that to see why it's doing that. So there's something a bit odd here, but I have a better way of getting this now. Um, so that's why this is crashing. It makes sense now, because I'm seeing like a, a pre-delay of eight, but I'm not seeing that. Ah, wait a minute. That's parameters. Wait a minute. I think I've got to actually physically click something here, yeah? and then I get parameter one, 31 rat comps. Where's my rat comp? I don't have a rat comp here because I'm on the wrong one. I'm on DreamWorks. So if I go here and I click there, that's it. Then I got a sense of six, six, an attack of zero, which is slow on this one. I've got a comp of six, that makes sense. And I've got a volume of eight, now it makes sense. If I click on this one, this shows me the effects of two, which should be 40, 70, 90, 70, yep. Uh, three should be guitar in therefore for 0, 100, 30, 0. Uh, yep. And four should be 35, 15, 8, 77. Uh, yeah, now what that boils, oh no, vibrato, there. Yeah. 35, 15, 8, 7, that's right. So now I would have to scroll on the bottom here to get across to the next ones. Uh, ZNR Vibrato, we just done that one, haven't we? Yeah, so now we've got Tape Echo, that's as far as I can go, Tape Echo 440, where's that gone? Yeah, it's, it's, it's MIDI, so zero is the first one, 56760, or off, yep. Then I've got the pre delayed decay mixed tail as 491538 on, uh, better check on it, I suppose. Yeah, 48, 15, because it starts from zero, I guess, 38, and on, which is one. And then the pedal volume, which is 100, zero, 100, zero. Yeah, so that's working, okay? So that's really neat. This thing is behaving like the overall display you get, which is really neat. And these things here are behaving like the little on-off buttons, and you can see them all at once, which I quite like, actually. So... I think I'm going to really want to get this running nicely on the software. Then I got to look at where I got these errors. So I'll debug that in the background. It gives me something to test. Yeah, um, it's something that you can't. I couldn't do before because the the GCE3 when it emulates a G5, G5N rather, it wasn't giving me exactly what I expected to see. Uh, but we can do the same thing now, where we can click on my patch. Doesn't like that. Why not? Base name param. 
Ah, okay. Interesting. Interesting. This really could. Ah, I think I know what it is. So the dude I got it from might have made his own patches. Oh, I don't know. I could be wrong. And maybe his own patch is using some effects that um, aren't on it. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing here. Let's actually go back now onto the stomp mode. So my patch XX seems like something that someone had done themselves, yeah? Because it's got an interesting name. So it should have a rap comp, a sweet drive, a tape echo, a tremolo, a spring, a drum thingamy, and a pedal volume. So it looks like when I get here, I can see there's something there, but I'm not drawing it. And then I'm not drawing the pedal volume on. So maybe when I hit this problem here, I should carry on to the next one, yeah? So this is probably what this is saying here, is it's reading the stuff in and then saying, uh oh, uh oh, I'm getting stuck. Um, but I'll look that up myself. I can debug that. So this is why it's useful to have a physical pedal. Um, so what's he got? He's got a rack comp. Yeah, we got that. A sweet driver, tape echo, tremolo, spring. If we click that, nothing's going to happen, is it? Because it, it's not activated. Whereas that will do something, yeah? You see? That's actually going to show me the values there, which is right. That's what they are. Um, so... Yeah, I think I'll I'll have a play with this. It looks like my software is doing something. In some respects, this is better than the main display, but I do like having that. Well, I don't know. I'm standing here looking at it, what, 18 inches in front of me. If I was stood up in the air, if it's at belly height, I can read it. Let me just see if I can put it on the floor. I wouldn't be able to read the LCD from here. I'm about 6'2". It's tiny. You, you might be able to tell the icon roughly, but... Having it on a monitor like this would be much easier to read. Um, so there are some advantages of the software, but I mean, hell, would I trust a Raspberry Pi Live? Maybe not, but I certainly would use this to help me set things up and save them, and then I've got them ready for the gig. And I think you wouldn't be dicking around with the individual things on a gig. But I think the G5N is quite nice if you want to set things up without a computer. Um, I think you've got a lot more stuff to see at hand. Whereas with a computer, either the tone lib, which is excellent, the guitar lab, which is pretty good, my software's okay. Um, and the benefit is it can understand when I teach it adjusted patches. I've just got to do something when I catch the looper and the rhythm section that I handle that more gracefully. But I'll do that. Okay, I will be playing with this and thank you for watching.